Hi guys, in today's video I'm giving away a completely free Apple Loop library which gives you all the building blocks you need to create chord progressions to integrate directly into Logic Pro's chord track. Let's jump in. So this pack is for you if you want to be able to preview chord blocks. And you also want drag and drop simplicity that is tied straight into the chord track that will immediately be reflected with your session players. So to get your hands on this pack, hit one of the links in the description below. You've got two options, download from Google Drive, and it will give you a weird message about uh, it can't scan it for antivirus, but the file is absolutely fine. Or you can download it through Patreon if you feel more comfortable with that, but it will ask you to log in. Both options, completely free, no money involved, have fun with it. So once you've downloaded it, you're going to find a, uh, a folder called Logic Pro Beanie Guy. I'll just quickly show you what's inside there. You've got an info file and uh, that just gives you a bit of an overview confirming it's completely free to use. Uh, it also gives you um, an installation guide here. So uh, hopefully this may help you to uh, get up and running and I'll just show you uh, how to do that in a moment. So in order to install these in Logic, the first thing we need to do is copy the Logic Pro Beanie Guy folder into our Apple Loops library. Now, um, to find that, you would come up here and you can go to Computer. And then you want to go to uh, your hard drive. You want to double click on Library. And then Audio and then Apple Loops. And so I just wanted to show you over here, we've got two folders open. Uh, that's the one you want. It's your main computer library and you should see the Apple Loops in there, all the other stuff that you've installed or downloaded uh, as part of your Loops library and uh, all of your different sound packs and stuff. If you come into Apple Loops uh, via this, this way, by, uh, I found by going go to library here, what it does, it actually takes you uh, into a library. You can double click on audio and Apple loops, but what you'll find there, there is no Apple folder. These are the um, user loops. So this is not the directory we want to uh, be installing it in. We want to be installing it in our main Apple loops folder. So all we have to do is drag this whole Logic Pro Beanie Guy folder in there. And it's as simple as that. Now we can jump into Logic. Okay, so here we are in Logic Pro, and I'm going to start by opening up the Loops library. I'm going to use the shortcut key O for that, and that's going to open up Loops library there. And then what I want to be doing is coming into Sound Packs at the top here, where it says Show All. I'm going to click on that, expand the menu, and I want to scroll all the way down the bottom to Re-index All Loops. I'm going to click on that. And that is going to then rescan the Apple Loop library for any new loops that have appeared. And after a few moments, that should finish. And there we go. So now that that has finished, what you will find is if you come up here into Sound Packs, we now have new options. And you can see that we've got Chord Library Basic. So now I can click on this. And there are all of our major and minor chords. And so we can start using these in our projects. So there are three key benefits to using this type of Apple Loop library uh, to build chord progressions over a traditional MIDI pack. The first one is that you can preview the chords as you click on them. Just like with any other Apple Loop, you click on a chord and you can immediately hear what it's going to sound like. So the second really useful thing about these chord blocks is that every region has the chord embedded into it. So if I drag this major chord here across to the timeline, you can see that it's picked up. It's a C major chord and it's actually dropped it straight into my chord track. So that's really, really useful if I want to quickly build up um, chord progressions and use the, uh, the session musicians. And that works for any of the chords. So let's say we went in here and I want to use that one next. So we've got a C to an F major seven. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, we'll try that. And then uh, if we're, we're sticking with the major scale here, I can go maybe for a second, a minor second. Let's, let's see how that sounds. Okay, so that's gonna save me a lot of time trying to transfer my chords into that chord track. One thing to just note is that if you come down here at the bottom of the, uh, the sound pack library uh, and click on this expand option there, you, uh, you can choose to either keep the region chords or to replace global chords with region chords. Now, I'll just show you um, the impact of that. If I were to change my mind, let's say, so I didn't like that F major seven. I want to try something different. Um, uh, there you go. Let's give that one a go. So if I drag that over, that's now going to update the chord track as well as the region. So the third really useful thing about this is that they are labelled one through seven within the scale, rather than being tied to a particular key. Now that means that all you have to do to change the key is come up here and change it in your project. And I'll just show you how that works. So I'm in C there. Let's say I wanted to change that to um, a key of F it automatically updates the chord track and all of the region chords. And of course, the real benefit of working in this way is that you can start dropping in session players and they will immediately respond to the changes that you make. Something like this. I'll just drop in a uh, keyboard player here uh, leave that on the default style of freely and let me drop in a, uh, a bass player as well I'll leave that pop songwriter that'll do and of course they will start responding immediately to these sounds in fact I can even mute my uh, concert grand track there so So let's say I wanted to change one of the chords now in that progression, I wasn't particularly happy with it. I can preview over here. Okay, if I wanted to drag that one in there, it updates the chord for me. So as you can see, it's really easy to drag new chords in, try different things and immediately get feedback from the session players. One other thing I just wanted to quickly note is that if you wanted to just um, tie this to whichever scale, you, I've, I've got the major and minor scales at the moment um, and I'm planning to do a more extended version of this with all of the modal scales, but if you just wanted to lock it just to major, all you need to do is start typing in here. Um, and that now will mean that you don't see any of those minor chords. Obviously, similarly, if you're working in the minor scale, you can do that and you will only see the, uh, the chords that you want to up here. The final thing I just wanted to show you is that if you were to uh, say want a, a chord change halfway through a bar, all of these chords are tied to um, a single bar in length and logic will just drag them in all loops work in this way so let's say we wanted to just chop this up here so I'm gonna just come in and I'm going to trim that uh, I will choose to split the notes now let's say I wanted to drag that in over here now you can see logic hasn't picked it up from the uh, uh, the chord track there I can delete this now I just get rid of that, but uh, it's a really, really easy way of updating the chord track to any changes I make here with the various regions. Because these chords are all built in, all I have to do is select everything there, right click on that and come down to chords here. 
And what I can then do is say paste region chords to global track. And just like that, what it's done, it's actually picked up all of those chords and I, I can play around to my heart's content with this and immediately the session players will pick it up. So that would sound something like this. So I think this provides a really flexible way of working within Logic Pro with the chord track. I've not seen anything like this anywhere else on YouTube or the internet, and it's taken me quite a while to uh, develop this chord pack. Uh, as you know, I've been working on various MIDI packs, which I've been giving away through the channel, but I think this is a really, really useful bit of kit for Logic users. So uh, download it, have some fun with it, let me know how you get on. Uh, I hope you find it useful. Uh, thanks for watching, and please do hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, We'll see you on the next one.